Welcome, I'm Maliki. I'm here to help you upgrade your energy. In this video, I'm going to talk about if you can stop loving someone. Does it mean that it was never love at all? Why is it that there are people that you felt that if I don't have him in my life, my life has no meaning for me. I can't live without him. Or if she doesn't come into my life and be with me, my life is over. I cannot live without her. And then when you look back at it years and years later, you say, what was happening to me then? Why did I feel like this? And it just doesn't have the same meaning for you. Does this mean that it was never love? If you want to stop loving someone, if you're deeply, deeply in love with them and you want to move out of it, they're not there, they're not at your side, and you've had enough of this pain of waiting for them, of not having them there, and you want to move out of this, and you say, I want to stop loving him, I want to stop loving her. Is this possible? I'm going to explain how this works, how the energy of love works, and what it is that is possible and what it is that is not possible. Thank you for subscribing. We reached 25,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about this. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Also remember to like, and thank you for being part of this beautiful community. Now, when it is that you're in love, is it possible to stop loving someone? Can this love just fade away? To answer the question, if you can stop loving someone, you need to see what type of love this is first. Where is it originating from? Is it coming from your mind or is it coming from your heart? And when I say your heart, I don't mean your feelings. I mean from your core, from the truth, from that pure energy within you, that inner connection that you can have with someone. This is very deep. It is made up of very powerful, infinite energy. Now, if it is love that originates in your mind, it means that you saw something in the other person that you are attracted to. They attracted you by their physical appearance, by something they say, by something they do, by something that they represent for you, by something that you feel that you could experience with them, and you want them in your life, and you fall deeply in love. And this love can fluctuate. It can have a great depth, it can be overpowering. You can feel at times that perhaps if you don't have him or her in your life, you can't live without them. And there are times where your focus shifts elsewhere and they're not so much on your mind. Now, this love is based on the environment. It is based on something that you saw from around you, something that you saw in this person, even this, what you were experiencing at the time that you saw them. The whole environment, everything can play a role in your feeling of love coming up from within you. Now, this type of love, because it's based on something from your mind, something that you believe to be true, thoughts, feelings that build up, this love can flow in a very, very different way than the love from coming from your heart. It can be based on what it is that you imagine to be true, on what it is that you convince yourself is the truth, is what it is that you are seeing, what it is that you're experiencing. And this isn't always the truth that this person can also feel from within them. So this love can often be very one-sided. One person can be deeply in love and the other person may not be interested or may not love the person to the same extent or in the same way. Now, when you feel this type of love, this love flows in a very specific way. It can move completely outwards and where you express it and show it and everyone knows that you're in love, or you can keep it to yourself. You can keep it deeply hidden and you're flowing your energy inwards. This often makes you feel like you're trapped in love, like you're alone in love. And this brings you into feeling heavy, lonely, sad. Yes, it's being in love, but it's not that love that inspires you, that makes you feel excited to wake up and live your day, create things, 
experience things. It's not flowing outwards, it's not being expressed, it's flowing inwards. And for this reason, it can make you feel heavy and very low frequency. You can easily know if you are in mind-centered love because you know the way that you're thinking. You can see where your focus is. With mind-centered love, your focus is always on the other person. They may not be always on your mind throughout your day, but it is not coming from your heart, which means that you're trying to understand them. You're trying to see why it is that they're saying what they're saying, doing what they're doing. Why are they behaving in a specific way? Why are they not there? Do they care about me? Do this, does he not care about me? Does she not want me? Does he love me? This is usually mind-centered love, and it's very easy to spot. Once you experience heart-centered love that comes from the energy, that pure, beautiful energy within your heart, within your core, only once you experience this type of love can you tell the difference very easily because you know how one feels and you know how the other feels. When you've only experienced mind-centered love, it may not be as easy to understand what heart-centered love is. Actually, I don't think you can imagine what it feels like until you actually experience it. And it's not just for some people. Everyone is connected to someone from their heart. Everyone has a love that is within them, that is infinite, that is eternal. And when the love is coming from your heart, from your core, that energy is forever flowing. It cannot be cut, it cannot be lost, it cannot stop. It is truly infinite, it is truly endless. It is unaffected by time, it is unaffected by space. Which means that, yes, you cannot choose that I'm going to move out of my heart-centered love because this love is infinite. This love is eternal. And this love is unconditional. So when it is coming from your heart, it's not that you're never in pain. It's not that you don't feel the lack of this person. But when you feel the lack of them, it's because you're looking at it from your mind. Even though this is heart-centered love, there are times where you move into your mind and you look at it from your mind. And when you look at heart-centered love from your mind, that's when you start to see it as mind-centered love, that it is, what is he doing? What is she saying? Why is it this? And if you let go, completely let go of this love, completely let go of the heavy feeling, the energy, everything. Then if it is heart-centered love, the love will come back. It will be strong, it will be pure, it will be clear. Mind-centered love, it can move out of your life. It can fade away. So yes, if it's mind-centered love, you can say, I will stop loving him. But it's not that if you say, I'm gonna stop loving him, you can suddenly stop. You have to shift your focus. Once you shift your focus, then this love will slowly start to not be overwhelming. It won't be your main uh, interest in the day. It won't be where all your energy is going. Your energy will start going where you're focusing on. And so this will be weakened. And what it is you're focusing on is what will grow, what will be strengthened. When it's heart-centered love though, even if you shift your focus, the love is always there. Any moment you choose to look, you will see that the love is there. Yes, you can shift your focus elsewhere. Of course, it's not that heart-centered love means you're trapped in this love and that's all that there is for you. The thing is that it's beautiful energy flowing from within. The more you choose, to move into your heart, to move into your core, to bring this love forward in every cell, in every fiber of your body, of your being, of your existence, then everything you say, everything you do will have so much power moving it forward. It will change everything you are experiencing. It brings forward 
love. It, that energy, that high frequency energy is so expansive that this is felt by the other person that you are truly connected to. They come into your life because they feel it. It's like this calling, this music that comes from within them. And it is the music of love that is within your heart and your core. This love transforms all. Choose this love. Choose the eternal love, the infinite love, all that you are to come forward, to be seen and felt by all. I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe and also remember to like.